Thank you. Um, I'd like, if I, if I may, for you to just humour me for a moment, um, and in the interest of getting some uh, audience participation going, um, I'd like, by way of show of hands, uh, who here has heard of the Technology Strategy Board? And the panellists as well, that's good, that's good news. And um, by way of a show of hands again, who here knows what we do? So not so many, that's interesting. So apologies um, for those of you that this uh, little bit of speech is going to be redundant, um, but I'm just gonna tell you a bit about Technology Strategy Board, what we do, what we're doing in, in Wave and Tidal. Um, so we're a, a, a non-departmental government body set up to support companies um, through business-led in innovation. And primarily we do that through, uh, through grant support and funding. Um, we have a budget of around um, 440 million pounds. And within the energy team, we spend approximately 25 million pounds a year. Um, plus, we provide the uh, core funding for the offshore renewable energy catapult and the soon-to-come uh, energy systems catapult. So we have targeted programs uh, within energy that look at uh, offshore renewables, and that's, that's my area, um, but also uh, nuclear, sustainable use of fossil fuels, um, fuel cells and hydrogen, um, uh, solar, uh, and energy systems. Um, we started really funding wave and tidal uh, in about 2010. We ran a couple of competitions then, um, which were focused on device development. So we had about 13 or so projects come through, and we worked with the, the, the likes of um, MCT and TGL, um, some of the, the, the wave developers, such as uh, Fred Olson, for example, and I don't wish to uh, demean anyone by leaving them out, but just some examples there of, of who we've worked with. Um, we then decided in, in 2011 that the big issues in the industry were the next arrays. So how are we going to get the technologies that are necessary for arrays? So we ran a program um, funding uh, technologies that would be useful for, for installing the first arrays. We called that MESAT, Marine Energy Supporting Array Technologies. And that resulted in seven projects, six of which are, are still running now. Um, with the likes of uh, subsea hub being designed for electrical connection, um, vessels for um, installation in high flow environments, um, mooring lines, intelligent and, and, uh, materials for mooring lines, a uh, platform for multiple turbine, uh, tidal turbine rotor connection with a single point to the, to the seabed. Um, so those projects are still running and we, we have a, a, a session every year that provides updates on, on those that you can come along to if you wish. Most recently, we ran uh, a competition called uh, Infrastructure for Offshore Renewables, which was focused on wind, wave, and tidal, um, but around the areas of um, support structures, electrical infrastructure, and sensors and monitoring. So again, not the um, device development, um, but focusing on the other areas to try and um, develop the whole supply chain. That has resulted in four projects um, that are relevant to Wave and Tidal, and they will be kicking off uh, in the next few months, um, running for between 18 months and, and three years. Upcoming, um, we are working uh, with the um, Ocean Energy Iranet. Uh, this is a pan-European uh, collection of funders that are um, supporting marine energy. Uh, we are a delivery partner in that. There are 16 partners across nine countries, and that will have a, a call out um, sometime later this year, or due to. Um, we are also, if you've been by the, uh, our stand, H90, little plug there, um, then you will have seen that we're, we're really going hard on the Energy Catalyst, which is a new competition that we've launched. It's a 25 million pound fund that is open to all energy technologies at any time. There are three stages that which you can uh, apply for. Um, early stage feasibility work with funding uh, grants up to, uh, or project sizes up to 300,000 pounds. Mid stage for sort of prototype development work, um, with project sizes up to three million pounds. And um, late stage work for demonstrator type projects with funding up to, uh, for projects up to 10 million pounds. Um, with decreasing intervention rates as you go through those, so 75% um, up to for the 
uh, for the early stage work down to 25% for the, for the later stage work. Uh, I'm also working with uh, the Offshore Energy Research Association of Nova Scotia in Canada to develop a competition um, with those guys looking for collaboration between um, UK and Canadian companies around uh, the development of new sensors for, uh, for tidal stream. And we see this as an opportunity to um, develop opportunities in, in new markets for companies and to support those within Canada. And the Canadians uh, and ourselves are very aligned on, on what we want to achieve there. But broadly speaking, it's about getting better data for, for tidal stream and be that more data or measured in a different way or um, measured for, for longer. Whatever it might be, what sensors do we need to, to support that? Um, just a little bit about myself, if you're asking me any questions later. Um, I've been in renewables for uh, coming up to, to nine years now. I've worked um, in consultancies in supply chain development and turbine design, wind turbine design. I've also worked for utility uh, wind farm developer, wind farm operator, as I've seen that side of things. Uh, and for my sins, I've also been uh, part of an aircraft design team. That's all I wanted to say, but uh, any questions on, on funding and, and the projects we have coming up, um, please take those later. Thank you.